Welcome to another video. My name is Jean-Michel and today we're going to be talking about Pluto's transit into Aquarius. This is a 20 year transit. Pluto can go from between 11 to 30 years in one sign, including all the retrogrades. But this transit begins March 23rd, 2023. And it's going to be quite an interesting transit as most people might know already that the last time Pluto was in Aquarius, the American Revolution happened, and that was in 1777 to 1797. And there was a major societal-wide transformation about uh, their, the security that people felt by where they were living. Are the controllers that are controlling our society, are they in our best interests? And there was a uniting of the consciousness of the people of that territory, the, uh, the colonists of the, American, uh, the early American colonies, and they united. And so are we going to see something similar to that? Well, I think we will be seeing some something similar to that. It's a 20 year transit, so it's going to be happening slowly. I don't think there's going to be a revolution in the next year, but gradually the, the effects of Pluto and Aquarius, uh, they happen on our subconscious level. The three outer planets work subconsciously in us. And so it's very subtle changes, but the changes are real nonetheless, and we feel them happening within us. So. First, before we get into the details of what Pluto in Aquarius is going to be doing, let's talk about Pluto itself. What is it doing? Death and rebirth are the themes of Pluto. So what's dying? What's dying is our security needs. What our ego, what our, what our material self needs to feel secure through. So the sign that Pluto's in are the significations of the of security that we are attaching ourselves to. Pluto is there to exaggerate those security needs to the point that they, they become destroyed. And then from the ashes, we come to a new transformative understanding. We transform ourselves to understand we didn't ever need those things to begin with. And those things were merely causing us to, to be pulled back, to we were holding ourselves back through needing to attach to those things. And the ultimate form of Pluto is to come into closer divine security, not being dependent upon material conditions or material needs to feel secure. So Pluto is destroying the sign eventually through exaggerating the significations of that sign until they're unsustainable and we come to a new understanding of what that sign is and to new understandings about how we can grow to deeper spiritual connection. And also, we're talking about opposite signs too. Whatever sign that Pluto is in, it's affecting the opposite sign because the signs are connected in their polarities and they have, they're mutually affecting each other. And so we're going to see effect, we saw effects, cancer effects while Pluto was in Capricorn for the past, since 2008. And we're going to talk about that now. Um, so this rebirthing process, getting, removing ourselves from the material security of that sign. That, that inner sense that I need to feel secure through this material thing. So Capricorn, we need to talk about Capricorn, what happened, and so that we can tell the story about where we're going with Pluto and Aquarius. So Capricorn, what is Capricorn? The ruler of the sign is, is key to understanding the, the sign. It's ruled by Saturn. Saturn creates this separation from our divinity. It creates this separation from our individuality and that kind of that can create psychological complexes of uh, anxiety of depression not feeling inspired that life is hard and dealing with hardships so capricorn has those significations within it it's this stress that comes on by the need to feel something greater and wanting to feel inspired but not finding it directly and so then having to to simply work hard and do the work necessary in order to feel more fulfilled within us. And so Saturn uh, creates changes on a very slow level. It's a very slow moving planet. Uh, Saturn is also the common person. So it deal, we're dealing with large groups of people with Capricorn as well, the village you could say. And it's a movable earth sign, Capricorn. So movable earth is, earth is our material life. Movable is the adaptability that we can make to be able to to make changes in our material lives and to be able to adapt to, to the inevitable changes in material life in order to feel secure and that we're not under threat by, by the outside world. 
Capricorn has this attribute that people with a strong Capricorn or in general, it makes people want to take care of so many different little things so that they don't feel insecure about their material life. So this can mean always on the watch, always being guarded against a potential problem happening. So this anxiousness and this kind of um, disturbed mindset from always having to feel completely material, sec materially secure and adapting to whatever is happening around you in order so that you don't lose that security. So what was Pluto doing there in Capricorn? Well, it was working on the level of adapting people so completely to material things that it becomes unsustainable. And as it affects the opposite sign, it's affecting the emotional adaptability of people. What are people, the cancer, what are people adapting to emotionally? Is this harming them or is this helping them? So I, I'm sure you could guess what, how is this all played out on the world stage? Smartphones and the internet. In 2008, smartphones, I don't think they'd had been released yet. I think we're still at the iPod stage. We all had flip phones. We weren't so inundated creating this material dependence upon these technologies. So since 2008, our survival has really become attached to these devices. And again, the common person, the common people, universally, we've experienced this change. And what has that caused? It has caused, over, the t over time, people realizing that this wasn't as great as we thought it would be. This is, wasn't as democratizing as it was told. Technology is going to bring us all together and unite things. Well, there have always been control purposes for the onset of the Internet by the powers that be. But it's created so much emotional instability, psychological dependence, this irritability, being tense all the time having to always be um, people, uh, especially young people, the depression rates skyrocketing. So Pluto has created such a major focus on the need to materially adapt that it's become so unsustainable. The effects have been emotional on to most, most people and it's created such a, such a pressure cooker that people, the way out of it is to see, I don't need my personal security to be dependent upon the, my smartphones and my online identity. I'm more than that. But Pluto and Capricorn is creating such a strong connection between those, between, such a strong emotional, psychological, and physical security need on these things. To the point, it's people have been realizing, at least in the past 10 years, that this has been, have, this has had made, well, I would say, since about 2016, 2017. This has had such major psychological and emo negative psychological and emotional effects that we need to see ourselves and live beyond these things. We're too dependent upon them to feel good and secure. This is Pluto forcing people to make the transformation above what makes them feel good and secure about their own life. And it's been through this, this onset of social media and technology, specifically smartphones. So that brings us into Aquarius. What are we going to see at this stage that we're at by Pluto going into Aquarius? Well, let's first quickly talk about what is Aquarius as we talked about what is Capricorn. Aquarius is symbolized by a man on an island that's pouring out a jar of water. So the symbol of a man, so we're dealing with humanity. The signs that have people in them are signs that focus us, that shows us that we're dealing with human, human nature and humankind and the needs of humanity. A jug of water, pouring out the water. The, wa the jug is now empty, so we're dealing with the emptiness. Like I said, it's, it's also ruled by, Aquarius is ruled by Saturn, and Saturn gives us that feeling of empty, that something's missing. Pouring out the water. But standing on an island, surrounded by water. So what we need to fill that jug to find that inner fulfillment is always, al always around us at all times. Water is a symbol for consciousness. So when we pour out consciousness, our consciousness into things, we are left empty. But when we fill the jug, what do we fill it with? We fill it with what's around us at all times. And that is the consciousness of other people, but also just the understanding that divinity is all around us. So that's why Aquarius is called a humanitarian sign is because we're working 
in the confines of consciousness surrounding us all and human consciousness specifically. So what are we going to be seeing with Pluto entering here? Well, as I was talking about how the effects that smartphones and our dependence on our security needs dependent on these devices, what it's created? Isolation. It's created this intense separateness amongst people, people in their own pods, people in their own groups. And those groups are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And the control mechanism works best when, if you're going to be a technocratic, a person that uses technology to solidify control, what you need are small groups and isolation. Ideally, one person alone, everyone separated. Because when everyone's united, that, that united interest can then challenge the power. So what we're going to see is an exagger with Pluto in Aquarius, this exaggeration of isolation, isolation. Everyone's different. Every person is completely different. We're not the same. Agenda is all having major differences from one another. This exaggerated to the point that it becomes totally unsustainable and people rebirth and understand that they need other people. We need to connect ourselves with the consciousness of others. And so I think that there's going to be um, people who, we have these major systems in place that are technologically control, technological control systems. People are going to break out of them because their dependence on them is too great, because they need to connect on deeper levels within themselves, but they want to connect with other people. The isolation becomes too all-encompassing. And so people are going to start forming local communities around the world that are separating themselves from the confines that the control of te technology is putting on people, similar to how the American Revolution. Too much tight control leads to a pressure situation and people burst out of it. And so in Aquarius, I think we're going to be seeing people innovating their ways out of uh, feeling enclosed in and that they're becoming more and more isolated. And that could mean new technologies. Aquarius is an air sign, so the exchange of information is important for Aquarius. The exchange of ideas and, and communication in general. And technology is a tool that we use to connect. So I think people are going to be, out of necessity, forced to create new technologies that uh, not only use the internet, but I think beyond the internet, in order to make local communities more friendly to, to the interchange of ideas and to not be isolated. So it's this moving, it's being rebirthed from escaping isolation that I think Pluto is going to be working on, uh, on the subconscious level of humanity. And let's not forget the island part of the, of the, th of the symbol of Aquarius. The island is a literal symbol as well. So I think there's going to be a lot of focus on the Southern hemisphere, tropical places, uh, shorelines, coastal areas, uh, Pluto is a destructive, so we could see destruction of coastal cities, uh, coastal um, coastlines. Um, but we could also see new islands being formed from that, new commu island communities. And the uh, theme of water as well. Water is a an important part of the symbol of Aquarius. So water is going to become more important. Clear, fresh water. Where do we get water? Technologies that involve water desalination, water purification. I think these are all going to come into play as well out of the necessities that people are feeling to, to break free from the confines that we've been put under of this dependence and this addiction to our material lives being guided by a single thing. So Pluto is going to be helping us break free from these, these themes. So in summary, we're from the Capricorn time when Pluto was in Capricorn, when our material needs were being so focused on through a single technology that feeling secure in those technologies has become unsustainable. It's had emotional effects on the, all of society. Now coming into Aquarius, we're going to be seeing the theme of isolation and bursting free, rebirthing our ideas of what is community and what is isolation. The opposite sign of Aquarius is Leo, which is individual stability, individual vitality and strength. So people focusing too much on how they are a unique person that needs to be complemented by who am I within the context of other people. And the growth of consciousness on a deeper level, but it needs to be shared with other, con with other people. Consciousness needs to be uh, exchanged. So I think we're going to be seeing the rise of local communities that are breaking free from 
confines of control systems, uh, new technologies being a necessity that facilitate the interaction and communications within local communities because there won't be any competition to uh, on a large scale with these free energy technologies. It just doesn't work like that. Free, te free energy technologies can only be implemented on a small scale, otherwise they be basically become destroyed by the people who are currently in power that that's a threat to them. And so we're going to be seeing these themes uh, and all in order to help us grow in our connection with divinity and all in order to make us feel more secure in our connection to the divine source. And all of that is going to, all of this Pluto energy of destruction and then rebirth is all meant to, for us to bring us closer in to what we feel most secure and what we feel most secure with being our divine selves and that we're not dependent upon the material world for ultimate security.